Hi everyone, welcome to the next video from our Hannah Carlson Daydreams page. Um, we've done the mushrooms and the stardust and today we have got this key to do. So I'm going to come in a lot closer for you so we can have a really good look at what we have got here. Now really um, with this sort of thing, we have a sort of choice, we can go for silver or gold, we can go copper, antique, bronze, there are all sorts of colours. Um, I like doing gold, I know how to do it, but I thought I would do gold in a slightly different way just to make it a little bit more interesting. And we also have a circle here and two lines here. Now you could leave those empty as if they're cut out areas, which is what I'm going to do with these two. But I'm going to make those three into gemstones. And I think actually if we do those first, that'll be a bit of fun. And then we'll do the key after. And it might help me to decide exactly what tones to do the key. Now with the gemstone, I like to use um, colours that um, would look slightly um, see-through. Um, so pastel tones don't do that. They look too milky. So I'm going to start with the um, deep cobalt green for this round one, we're going to make it look like a sort of emerald of sorts. And I'm going to put oops, a dark layer along the very bottom to start with. Now you can, sometimes people choose to make this stone lighter at the bottom and darker at the top. I usually do it darker at the bottom. I'm not sure how important it is, to be honest. I don't know. Um, I'm just looking for my dark thado green which is the next colour I am going to use. And I'm just going to take that green colour up a little bit. I'm going to go over the dark colour that I've done already and just spread that upwards. Now I've got a little circle at the top that I have just noticed. I'm just going to fade this a bit like that. Um, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to leave it as if it's a little hole. I'm thinking maybe, um, let's use this one, maybe um, it would. you'd want a hole in a key. Most keys have a hole in, don't they, to sort of hang it up or put it on a key ring. This is the light thalo green. It's going really light, but I think it's just going to work. I'm going to put it all over and then just bring it up to the top. I want to leave a little tiny white area like that. And I'm actually going to use my white to emphasize, whoops, and to emphasize it is the white. It's really rare that I use a white, but uh, the good thing about using the white is that if I go over the edge when I do this gold, it the white is burnished down onto the paper and so it won't um, go yellow. Okay, I want it to stay white. I'm going to go back in with my darkest green. I'm just going to sharpen it and just add a few more touches of dark to try and give it a little more shape and a little more contrast between light and dark. You can even use a black for this. I may use a bit of black in a minute. I'll see how well I can do just with this colour. So I'm going to take it around the edge of it. That all the way around. I'm sort of going over the top of the black line and I really want it quite dark down here. The bigger the contrast you have between the light and the dark, the more shiny it will look for you. And I am going to use a tiny bit of black. So this is the uh, black. And I'm only going to use that a little bit at the bottom. I have to be a bit careful with black. Obviously quite a dark colour. I think that'll do. She says adding a bit more. <laughs> okay. I feel we need a slightly better transition between the green and the white. So I'm going to use the light thalo green just to add a little bit in. Because we've put some white pencil down. It's easier to just, it will make sure we leave a bit of white. There we go. Now I'm going to add um, I will add a white pen line to that to show some shine later, not at this point. I'm going to do these two leaf shapes and I think we'll do those in red. I think red and green as gemstones work really well together. I like a sort of pinky red. So I'm going to start with my dark red 
and again make the darker bit the bottom and then it works with this one. We may go in with some black like we did on the other one later and I'm just going to fade that up like that and do the same on this side so make it quite a lot of layers down in the bottom and less as we go up like that and then I'm looking for the madder so this is madder it's a sort of slightly pinky color going right over the red taking up a little further like that and we want a final color which is a little bit lighter um i think i might go for a pink actually we went for quite a lot lighter with the greens this is the um 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 um, um, um. just looking <laughs> sorry um it is the pink carmine <laughs> I can never remember the rose and the pink, which is the lightest one. The rose is the lightest one. And over the top, and just take it up quite far like that. And we can see a little bit of pink. I did say not to use the pastel colours, but I think this will just work. And then I'm going to get my white. I'm just going to make sure the end is clean and it hasn't got any green on it. And uh, I'm going to use it at the top. Now, the polychromos white isn't the best white in the world but it does what I want here by acting as a slight barrier to colour which is what I want I'm going to go back to my really dark colour now the dark red um, if you want a white that will actually fade this colour you can use your Prisma white or a Caran d'Ache Luminance white something like that but that isn't what I want this time I don't want it to look pink so no, let's use a bit of the black. Very bottom. And it's good to just add it a bit at a time until you get what you're looking for. And as I did with the other one, I'm going to go back in with my pink carmine and just finish that top a little bit like that. There we go. Okay, so there are our sort of gemstones in our key, which I think is quite fun. Now, our actual key, I'm looking at the shape, I'm a little confused, but we'll see how we go. I have got my um, um, walnut brown to start with. You need to sharpen. It's a very small, intricate detail, so you need to sharpen. Now, what I'm confused by is this here and this here. Now that could easily be either a raised piece or a cut out piece. That's got to be a raised piece because it's got a line across the bottom so it's not a cut out bit. So, and we've got a piece here as well. So I think what I'm going to do is do all those three pieces as if they were slightly raised. Now to try and make something look like it's raised, you will need to make it look like it's closer to your light source. and because, So it will be slightly paler and there will be maybe shadow around it. So that's what I'm going to try and do with my walnut brown. So here, I just put a little bit on the edges. There isn't a lot of room. And here, particularly underneath, but actually I think we'll go all the way around like that. And around this one with our dark colour like that. And it already, to me, looks like it's slightly raised, but hopefully that will um, in, get enhanced even more as we go. Now I'm also I'm keeping with my walnut brown, thinking where else I'm going to need a little bit of darker colour. And I like to make um, my edges a little bit dark. I'm not going to do them there, because uh, it's very close to this bit. Uh, maybe a little bit on the ends here. Maybe a bit more on these because we've got a bigger area. A bit here and here. And I'm trying to apply a little bit more pencil right on the edge and a bit less as I come in. It's a little bit tricky. Um, and I think we'll want some underneath here because I want to make it look like these gemstones are standing out from the... Um, 
key a little bit. There we go. So that's that. Now, where should I go next? I think I'm going to go for my Burnt Sienna. And this would add a slightly more coppery look to our gold. And I'm going to add a little bit in quite a few areas here. So a bit here. Bring that in. And that in. So we're basically just starting to now really add more colour. I'm thinking we'll go all the way up this edge, although we need to go around here and then along this edge. It's just a fine bit, but it's just getting us going really. Um, I might do a bit around here too, so we've got a bit around every edge. A little bit here and here. Now extending these shadows a bit. Like that. And then just starting to extend all of these areas all the way around. Now I don't usually use this colour in my gold, in my metallics I should say, so it's a bit of fun to try something a little bit different. Mm, I'm just seeing whether I think I need a dash here or here or here. I might just put a bit over these lines. Like that. We'll try it and see how it goes. Now I want a slightly lighter shade. Um, where should we go from here? I'm thinking brown ochre might be the way to go. I'll give it a sharpen and a So the brown ochre, there we go, and now I want to extend all of this colour more. Now when I do my gold I tend to always go over the top of the colour that I've already done. I find that seems to work. Because I'm using polychromos they layer up really nicely, so I find it just seems to help. Now I know some people when they do their golds they put in some black, I don't tend to, it depends on what type of gold, there are lots of different types of gold, you know more antique golds or um, you know more modern sort of clean new gold, there's lots of different types, I don't have any here to show you actually, see this one, this stickles, that's quite a yellowy gold isn't it? whereas um, sometimes gold is rather more tarnished. Right, um, we'll go for our green gold next, I think. Okay, it needs a sharpen. I do like this. This is a great pencil. See, actually, I should show you this gold. This gold is the gold pencil from the Polys. It's really different, isn't it? Might use a bit of that, actually, in a minute. I never use that when I make gold. That might be fun. Try something different. So just going all the way around on top of the areas we've done. And we're getting a much more warm yellowy colour now, which is I like. Um, I think I'm just going to put a tad there because we have a bit of shadow there and a tad here. But I'm going to leave that one for now. Just extend these little bits, start to extend up and down and around. It's just a matter of building it up until you're happy with how it's looking. It's quite difficult for me, particularly, to imagine how it might look at the end, whether what I'm doing is going to work. I just have to trust myself, trust my instincts, I suppose. I think we'll do a yellowy colour now. We'll use the um, dark Naples ochre. Oh, there we go. Now you could um, use go on and use a really light yellow, like a light cadmium yellow after this, but I don't know if I'm going to yet. I'm going to start to leave a few white areas to look like shine, like here. I'm going to use this on here but leave a bit in the middle, white, just the smallest bit. Now what I think I'm going to do is colour up to the line and leave it white the other side. 
I normally leave it white it right in the middle but I think that white the black line will sort of distracts a little bit let's take that extend that a bit move around think about where you want some white I don't think it would be right on the edge but so like that area rather than being right up to the I put a little bit in here and leave that bit white and here because we've got that gap we'll color around it so that it doesn't look quite so strange Like that, okay. Hmm. What I'm going to try now is this gold pencil. As I said, this is just called. Um, what's it called? It's just called gold, gold. And I'm just going to go over all of it really with this. See what happens. Apart from the white areas, I'm going to leave those white. I'm wondering if it's going to just add some shine. It just may not make a big difference, but I figure why not? Let's try, try it and see what it does. Because I've never, never do normally use it. I can't see a noticeable difference in colour, which for me is actually a good thing because I was quite happy with how it looked. But it might make it shine. When we turn it towards the light, I'm just going to look. I can't catch the light on it. Oh, that's a bit. Mm. It doesn't really shine. The black shines more than the gold. Never mind. Okay, so that didn't really do much. I'm going to use a bright yellow, though, because I think we just need that warmth. So this is the light cadmium yellow. For me, it just needs it. It's hard to describe. Just put a tiny bit into these white areas, the tiniest bit, and just put it over the top of everything, and it just seems to lift the whole thing. It may not even be that noticeable, but I notice it. in these sort of paler areas makes quite a difference again maybe you won't really notice it also helps to just um, blend it now I'm gonna use some white oh, what should I pick I use my oh, let's grab the right gel pen this one this is the Sakura jelly roll this is number eight the eight is the size of the nib you can get a five and eight and a ten now I'm going to do some white down here mm, hang on sometimes it's good to scribble on some rough to get it going I can't actually see what I'm doing the black pen that I used is so pencil that I used is so shiny it's catching the light okay there's a little bit there a few dots there we go a little bit here and here now you can do some on your gold as well if you wish to um, I might just add a few flecks here and there it can Give the impression of shine. And even if they're not terribly visible, if you try and look for them, it just adds to that illusion, I think. Some people like to do a little sort of shine like a star. I can't do that. Well, I've tried and it didn't look very good. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it like that. So there is our key. I think I will leave it there. I'm not very happy with this though. Oh, 
I'm a bit happier now, a little bit, a little bit better. Right, so there's our key. Now you could, we've added glitter on our other two, and we haven't on this one. You could add glitter. We're trying to give the impression of a of some sort of um, gemstones and gold without using a false shine, if you know what I mean. But you could just coat it with a sparkly glitter to make it really shine. I am just contemplating that idea because the others have all got glitter on. But I think, um, yeah, let's do it. Um, have I got any? No, hang on. Just finding one of these. So I'm going to use the gold stickles and um, just apply some. Now I'm going to use my little tool and squirt them on if they want to come out. Sometimes they make a noise. Now that's quite a big blob. I don't really want that much. <laughs> so I'm going to try and just add little bits, tap it around and then I go back and get a bit more of this just tap it around spread it around I'm trying to only go on the bits that aren't gemstone now of course it's going on top of where I put the white pen which may or may not may have been better to put the pen first but then I mean the pen after this, obviously I didn't make up my mind about doing this until later, but um, I don't know if pen writes on stickles, I shouldn't think so somehow. Now I'm trying to turn my head to the light so I can see where I have missed. Oh, that's gone out of the light, so I'm going to use the other end to just pick, scrape that up, push it into the... <laughs> it's a little bit fiddly, isn't it? I think maybe um, a smaller tool, but I think I'm getting there. I think I'm okay. Just taking a little bit of concentration. So you see, I'm just going back and picking up a bit from this little pile that I made. It's probably not ideal, but as long as it doesn't dry before I'm done, I think it will leave a bit of a wet patch on the page in that space where I put the loads though. It says like a lot of glue, but this book is really good for not warping. Some pages have, I've noticed when I've used Skittles, Skittles? No, <laughs> that would be different. Um, stickles, so you do have to be a bit careful now, where well, I'm definitely missing up here. So I'm starting to try and spread them out. I don't know how long they take to dry. But uh, hmm. we'll see. But they seem to be okay. I don't know if you can see um, see them. I can't tell. Hang on, I'm just moving my head around to try and see them because um, it's a bit tricky to catch it in the lamp. Well, you can definitely see the ones at the top, can't you? Uh, are there any there? I uh, can't see. No. Hang about. I'm just going to do a tiny blob more on my thing, on my applicating applicator. Okay, now I'm going to check. I'm just going to. I'm not having put the lid on, which is a bit naughty. I think we've covered it all pretty well there we go so there is our super shiny key um as i say it's not how i would normally do one but i think it's a bit of fun to play with our stickles i think it really stands out actually and because everything else has got a bit of glitter so far on the page it feels like we need to continue that i've just noticed a bit that i don't want though down here it's dry Never mind. One thing I have noticed is I shut this book um, the other day after doing the stickles on the um, on the Stardust one, and um, there's been no transfer of glitter at all onto the facing page. I've never had that before. All pens always transfer 
so that is really amazing so I was really impressed by that but uh, anyway that's me there's our sparkly key I hope that was fun for you as I had fun making that it's good um so uh, that's me but uh, thank you so much for watching please do click subscribe if you can um it just helps the channel to grow and that's really brilliant and uh, have a really lovely day thank you for watching and happy coloring